and welcome back to everybody on yet another session with me on Microsoft Fabric where we are going to implement reflex, trigger and action using event stream in Fabric. So in this particular video, we are going to get a step ahead in the data activator. So in the previous session, I've already explained you guys on the data activator side. So what we exactly do in data activator. So now we are going to implement a full fledged data activator pipeline where we are going to implement the reflex trigger and action using event stream in fabric. So let's move ahead to the portal. So this is nothing but this is our fabric portal on the right side. You can simply click on the data activator and you will land into this particular page. So if I go into my workspace called as training 01 and here if I click on new event stream. So first of all, we are going to create an event stream because we are going to take so data activator. How does it work? It works on a trigger and an action, right? And you have a reflex before the trigger. So reflex monitors your streaming data. So that data can come from the Power BI or it can come from your event stream. So first, what we are going to do, we are going to create an event stream. So let me simply click on event stream. Let me say as reflex, reflex event stream right so this reflex event stream will what will it give us it will actually give us the stream of incoming data and we are going to create a reflex from it which is going to monitor my incoming data so now the moment i uh, come into this so we have already created a pipeline an event pipeline earlier as well so now if you come here you can simply say add an external data source of course the data source can be anything but we are going to use a sample data so now you can see the sample data over here in the previous sessions, we have used stock market, right? So here we are going to use bicycle. You can see it says reflex compatible. So this is the sample data that will, uh, you know, continuously stream. So let me simply name my source. I'll simply say it as source name, right? And let, let me simply click on add. So the moment I add this, now you can see that we are into this event pipeline. And then you can see over here there is the destination so let me click on this destination part where i want to load the data let's click on this reflex option at the end so the moment i click on reflex option it asks me for a destination name so let me say reflex underscore destination and then it asking it's asking me for the workspace and it is asking me to create a new reflex so basically I'm creating a new reflex over here, which is nothing but it helps you to process or store the or monitor your incoming event stream. So let me simply click on save. Now let me see and you can see that it has started saving. So I will just wait for a minute for this to save. And now you can see that it has already saved, right? So if I go ahead, click on publish, it is going to start running my pipeline. So let me simply click on publish. So what has actually happened? So first of all, we have created a source, which is the bicycle data. And then we have created an event stream, which is taking in the name of the event stream does not matter. So we are taking which is this event stream is taking the data from the streaming data from the source. And then there's a reflex destination, which is monitoring the data, right, which is monitoring the data. So now you can see it has started streaming. So just refresh it because in this uh, output we have selected it as a reflex now in this we have created a table right so this will take some time to re, uh, you know reflect all the changes so this is what I have observed in fabric until now so what you can do is you can go to workspace training 01 while this pipeline is running now you can see here a new reflex is created so this is a table new reflex right so this is the reflex event stream that we have created and then there is a reflex that we have created over here. Let me click on the new reflex over here. So what is this reflex doing? It is monitoring the data that is coming, the bicycle data. So this is the events, right? So this is nothing, but this is the event that is coming in. So now you can see this is nothing, but this is the new reflex, right? This is, uh, this is nothing but the new reflex where the streaming pipeline is loading the data. So let me in fact show you side by side so it is a little more uh, understandable for you guys so let me again go back to my data activator and let me go to my training 01 and then this is the event stream that we have created so i'm going to my event stream right now okay the ui is a bit slow over here okay 
uh, anyways I'll just refresh it again now you can see it is capturing the incoming data you can see the number of events per hour you can see the moment I started now you can see these green ones so these are getting loaded all the time because the stream is uh, continuously coming so now you can see this reflex destination right so this is the destination in this we created a new reflex over here to monitor this data so this new reflex is nothing but this is the new reflex which has come over here now we have to assign it to an object right so when I say assign it to an object basically we have to link our event stream to one or more object to use it in the data activator so this output of new reflex I have to assign it to an object so let me say object name over here and then assign a key column so if you are going to do any kind of let's say um, you want to assign any kind of triggers so based on what key column you want to assign the trigger so that is nothing but that is the key column you can choose any of the key columns so let's say neighborhood assign properties like based on what properties you would like to create a trigger so you can say okay when number of bikes exceeds this much value when number of empty docks exceeds this much value so like this you can assign the properties if you want so you can say so this is nothing but it is assigning it to an object which will specifically monitor the data based on this neighborhood column based on this neighborhood column it is going to check no bikes no empty docks value that is what it means now if I click on save you can see save and go to design mode and then you can say save and go to create another object now I just want to create one object you can create multiple objects as well so let's say save and go to design mode so what it will do it is going to get us to the design mode so till now what we have done we have created a reflex from the reflex we have assigned it to an object right now you can see this is the object that we have created with the name of object name itself and then these are the properties no bike and no empty dogs and this is the event that we created now if you see over here let me click on uh, properties over here let me click on properties no bikes so you can see this is a no bike property over here right so if I click on add I can add a filter if I want I can summarize it also but if there is any change that is coming to now you if there's any change coming to this data of no bikes that will be captured over here okay so any change in the streaming data you can see you can see the value 8 10 and all value 13 so this is nothing but this is being captured right now no bikes information is being captured based on the key value so we have assigned the key value of the neighborhood so this is nothing but the neighborhood values so based on that this data is coming in similarly no empty docks right so you can see this no empty docks value is also coming based on the key value that we have defined so now if I click on triggers option over here or let me say I'll, I can simply go ahead click on new trigger because I do not have any trigger yet so you can name a trigger as let's say trigger one so this is the trigger select a property or event column so you can see we already have existing two properties you can create an a property on the fly also so you can say existing property let's say number of bikes so what it will do it is going to create a trigger based on number of bikes okay it means that check the number of bikes option from these properties do what do what what do you want to check I want to check that uh, let's say becomes greater than that the number of bytes be becomes greater than one each time a data has come right so this is the scenario or this is the scenario that I want to check this is the trigger that I want to set that from this particular properties number of bikes right it becomes greater than one so similarly if you want to add another you can do that as well if you want to summarize or filter it you can do that here so now you can see this is the scenario that you are detecting so the streaming data is flowing it is flowing to an event from an event you have assigned that event to an object in that object you have a property that okay I want to monitor these values these properties I want to monitor and what is the trigger condition that comes in under the detect option so there is multiple conditions that you can see change by decrease by is greater than less than equal to right so these are like pretty self-explanatory and similarly if there is logical 
if becomes false true is false is true similarly common changes from new data arrives no new data arrives so like that if there is any value that you want to detect you can put it over here and now comes the last option which is action now select an action so the moment you click on select an action so now the moment th this trigger is activated and the value becomes greater than one right what is happening the, the moment number of bikes greater becomes greater than one then i want to select a particular action now what is that action that action can be sending an email sending a team's message sending a fabric item like this you can actually set up a number of actions so now if i say i want to send an email i can simply click on email whom do i want to send this email to what should be the subject what should be my headline any optional messages or any additional information if I want to mention the property so if you see additional information you get pro number of bikes, number of empty dogs do you want to mention this in the email because you have uh, these as the properties defined so then you can actually go ahead this is what is ac uh, this is what is data activator this is all about the data activator so you can basically send a test alert email if you want or then what you can do is you can start this trigger as well right so till now i have just created the trigger i have not saved it or i have not started it so now i have started the trigger started the trigger means that it has actually started um, you know uh, functioning it has started the function it has started functioning from this point itself from this point itself it has actually started functioning and similarly if you want to add a new trigger to this you know we want to define another condition you want to set up a new trigger to it you can actually do it similarly if you have any custom actions that you want to define you want to you know send an sms or things like that any custom uh, you know actions or even uh, you know triggering your power uh, automate flow then also you can do that as well so this is nothing but uh, you know, now you can see that this particular trigger has already started so this trigger is always active on your incoming data set right so now you can see that it is trigger activation so now it you can see what it says it has it has now the trigger has become active at this particular point so now i'm just trying to add my uh, another email id as well over here so basically what happens is you can assign n number of email ids over here that you want to right so what it will do it will send an email whenever the value becomes greater than one in the incoming data set so you can easily capture it as well so this is nothing but this is the data activator and now you can see the power of it so as the data is coming okay as the data is coming this is your streaming pipeline your data is coming you are putting it in reflex destination you can also put it somewhere inside your lake house inside your kql database we have already seen that right and then you put it inside the reflex destination from this reflex des destination what do you do you create a reflex a reflex which is monitoring the data now this reflex what it does you can create a property right property means the values based on which you are going to monitor the data and then you create a trigger on top of it once you have created the trigger you mention the trigger condition what you want to detect and then the action that you want to put across so this is how easy and simple data activator is i understand that this video is has become a bit long so but my main idea is to cover as much as i can within the one video and make sure one topic is covered end to end in a single video and you guys can understand it so i hope you like this particular uh, session and make sure that you practice it on your own and remember that if you are using your own personal workspace do stop it because it is consuming the whole uh, you know uh, resources and at the same time if you go to your training 01 right make sure that you delete this event stream because this event stream is continuously capturing your data and similarly delete the new reflex as well because these are continuously streaming pipelines right so it is always processing so i hope you like this particular session stay tuned and keep learning